Andreas, M0FXB Andreas, UK. M0FXB, so we're on the Nextian screen. Um, well, Nextian download page for Nextian editor, which is here. Once you download it and open it, it will look like this. That's what it looks like. Um, if you need the images, go to GitHub and do a search, or you can go onto these Facebook pages and click files and search, and you're looking for something like this. Now the giveaway is the size, so that's 24 inch, 24, and then obviously the NX Nextium. Once you've got the file and put it somewhere where you know where it is, go back to the program, and then to open it, just click open and then look for the you know the file that you created so mine would have been called nextian so yeah i put one there called nextian images open and then look you've got all these here selected okay and well, i'll just select one of my most recent ones because it does save them in the in the program so there's one there, as you can see, to change things, like for example, I want to change my call sign. You just click your call sign and then go down here on the right, change it, change it, but um, always hit enter. Same goes for name, and then if you go in the frequencies, just do one at a time, like hit DMR, then here, hit frequency, and then what happens, it appears down here on the bottom right, you might have to scroll down a bit, hit that, change the frequency, make sure you hit enter afterwards, and then do, do one at a time. Right, once you've done it, then hit up here, it says compile. Hit compile, yeah? And it will, it will do stuff here at the bottom left. Hopefully with no error, errors showing. Now if there's a, a size error, um, click device, go to the top, click device ID and then this comes up and then go to um, device here and then select your size like for here for example it's 28 and 35 you know 24 is the most common one uh, but mine is already 24 so it, I, I want 28 but sometimes if it's a funny size it will just create a thumbnail but anyway 28 does work so I've tried it okay so once you've done all that, plug your Nextian screen into a TTL to USB adapter into your computer and hit upload. It takes a few minutes to do it. The screen on the goes white whilst it's doing it. And then when it completes with no errors, just plug it in, connect it back to your hotspot. And hey, presto, you have a screen. Okay. So we're recording. We're going to hit go. Right, well it's saying it's going to do it, so I'm going to click OK. The screen, as you can see, has changed as it uploads. So this will be all on the video. Seems to be doing something. <coughs> anyway, so once this does go through, then you just literally plug it into your hotspot. Go into PyStar settings, select Nextian screen and USB, and uh, 
hopefully you'll have a nice funky looking screen. It's getting there, it's a bit slow, 50%, it's a live video so... Come on. Once it's on there, it's on there. You can actually use an SD card in these Nextion screens. And you can do it that way, but once you, you put the SD card in and it loads, you have to take the SD card out. I prefer doing it this way, it's a lot easier if you ask me. Right, it's going to boot now. Okay, it's booting up. It's not going to show all the information until it's plugged into the hotspot. And I shall do a video of that as well. We're going to hit... Um, you can hear me echo in here. We're going to hit recall, upload, upload. See if that does anything. We have to hit go. See what happens. It's trying to find the com. It takes a minute to find the com. You can see. So you can see it changing on my screen. It's just searching through the comms. Hopefully when it finds it, it will upload. Oh, it's a different screen because mine's 2.8. Okay, that's fine. We'll just stop that a minute. Right, we plugged it in. It's booting up. Like I say, it's a Raspberry Pi 3. It's got the USB in there. It's in a case. It's got the SD card in there. When it boots up, we should start seeing all the information coming through. But it's very funky looking, isn't it? It's got my name. Blurred camera, of course. But my name's in there. And there you go. So, it's got all the information. It's got my DMR number. Now I'm going to grab my DMR radio and just key. I'm pretty sure this is connected to talk group 91. That's even got the date and time on there and my IP address, so it's very good. Um, right, I'm just booting up my... There's me. MD318, I'm pretty sure, so we're on TG91. So let's just key. It's not showing, so it might be on a different network. I need to check what that hotspot's connected to. We'll try it on... Um, we think now, unless someone's talking, we could try TJF. I might have it on that B. Let's try it. No, unless it's on D star. Let's try everything. Why not? Cue the mic. Uh, we'll try D start. So here's one Charlie. Let's see what happens. No change. Let's try our. Um, let's try the FTM four hundred. Right. Let's try it on that. There you go, it's on Fusion. So I need to change the frequency so that it's 
800 on Fusion, which I know I think we did that, didn't we? So there you go, you can see it working. Um, oh, apologize to anyone I just keyed on. <laughs> M0FXB playing in Nextian screens. <laughs> 